Good day mga kabayan! Paghuhulog sa Pag-ibig MP2 gamit ang BPI eGov feature ng BPI Mobile App ang video natin today. Okay, first i-open po natin ang BPI Mobile App sa ating mga cellphone. At scroll lamang po natin ito pababa. Makikita po natin ang iba't ibang feature ng BPI Mobile App. At i-select po natin itong BPI eGov. Okay. Sa next page po, select po natin ulit ang BPI eGov. And then after this, we have to select the agency you like to pay. So this is for Pag-ibig MP2, i-select po natin ang Pag-ibig logo. Okay, and then this is the form na kailangan po nating i-fill out. So reminder po, ang service charge sa paggamit ng servisyong ito para sa ating MP2 ay 7 pesos. So, let's start with the amount po. So, reminder, per remittance, minimum of 500 pesos ang para sa ating MP2. So, for example, dito po sa aking babayaran, I will pay 5,000. And then, next is the account number. Reminder, account number for your MP2 po ang ilalagay natin dito. Hindi po ang inyong pag-ibig number. Magkaiba po yun. So, kailangan make sure account number ang ilalagay po natin dito. Okay, after that, payment type. So, sa payment type po, i-drop down natin ito and then we have to select MP2. Next, for the payment coverage, my note po dito, enter present or future date. So, currently it's April. So, ang accept lang po ng system is from April 2023 onwards. So, this is my contribution for April 2023. So, I will select April and period covered to April 2023 as well. After that, email address nyo naman po dahil dito ipapadala ang payment confirmation ng ating transaction. Then after po mailagay ang inyong email address, piliin lang itong validate transaction. And then hintayin na po natin dahil iti-check ng system kung tama ang mga in-enter nating details. Kung valid po ang mga detalye or information na inyong na-input, mababasa nyo po ito sa baba. The transaction details above is valid, so click the button below to start payment. And then click Pay Transaction. So at this point, kailangan na po nating mag-login sa ating BPI account. So press lang po ang login and hintayin mag-load. Ilagay po ang ating username and password and then click Accept. At kung meron po kayong more than one account enrolled sa inyong BPI online, just choose kung saan pong account ninyo gustong ibawas ang inyong savings para sa MP2. So, select one and then click pay using BPI. And then, ang next po na page is about your OTP naman. So, i-confirm lamang po kung ito ang inyong mobile number. Kung yan po ang inyong mobile number, i-click lang po natin yung pay button sa baba. And then, hintay nyo na pong ma-receive ang OTP sa inyong registered mobile number. And then, enter your OTP. Pagkatapos po na ilagay ang OTP, i-click lamang ang proceed. That's it po. Tapos na kayong magbayad or maghulog para sa inyong MP2 savings. Ang copy ng receipt na ito ay ipadala na sa inyong email address. Pwede na rin kayong mag-login sa inyong virtual pag-ibig account after the third banking day to check your payment. Kung wala pa po kayong username and password para sa virtual pag-ibig, meron po tayong step-by-step -step video tutorial kung paano po magkaroon nito. And just to show how to access your pag-ibig virtual account para ma-check ang payment nyo, buksan po natin ang aking account. So just type your username then your password and click login. And then sa home screen po, makikita natin sa left side under payments, pay online and view payments online. So i-click natin tong view payments online. And then for the details, select natin ang payment type. So this is for MP2 savings. And then drop down for your account number. So kung marami po tayong account number dyan, may mga pagpipilian kayo. And then type in the year, so 2023, and then view payments. So mapapansin po natin dito sa baba, no payments found. But don't worry po, hindi lang kaagad-agad nag update yan. So babalik po tayo dito sa summary ng ating MP2 savings. 
And then next is makikita nyo po ang summary, yung account number, ang balance, and then meron ditong view. I-click po natin to for the details. So ang chin-check po natin is kung nag-post na yung payment na ginawa natin through BPI eGov last April 11. So as you can see, last remittance date was April 11, 2023. Kung gusto niya po pong makita yung details ng inyong account, i-click nyo lamang po itong view contributions. Ilagay nyo lang po yung year 2023. And then ito po, mas specific yung details. So, ayan po ang inyong makikita ang transaction date April 11 and period covered. It's for the month of April. And yun po ay 5,000. Okay, so payment posted after 3 to 5 banking days using BPI eGov mobile app. That's it for the video today. Maraming salamat po sa panonood. Kung nakatulong po, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye!